if you diligently work at that posture that you're stuck in, you'll see way more than the one that you bend or flow through. The, and that that is part of why Ashtanga is so beautiful. Not the pain part. <laughs> the fact that the very fact and the fact that you can't go around it. It's there. It's right there in that sequence. And if you and you can choose to like throw it out, but then you've wasted the, a huge opportunity. And so it's not that you're because you're stuck in that posture that you're not seeing and you have emotional blockages. That is not necessarily so. I, you, there's a lot that goes into it that you, you know, a lot of factors, you know, that, and karma, that's a big word, but you know, like genetic and things that have come before that are weighing into it. And so your job though, is to start where you are with it and then find the progression. And you see that part of, and this progression is what's important. This is so important. And this is what vinyasa means. It means progression. And it doesn't just mean a come, th this position. It, it means a whole subtle, subtle, subtle steps that lead to a yantra, making an, an asana, both a yantra and a mantra. And so you have to be realistic about where you are along that, that line. And that and that's where a teacher is so indispensable because it is very subtle what I'm talking about. Very, very subtle and very nuanced. The way I showed you to work on dropping back. To me, the progression that you're, you've gotten ahead of yourself in the steps. And yes, you can drop back, but you've eliminated important steps on the way to doing that that kind of decrease the value of it. And so you, you have to be- how many years I've worked uh, I know. Okay. Right. I know, and that I'm not trying to take away that success of that. It's not, and it's fine to drop back and to 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 eliminate steps. But you also then have to go back and go recheck it. That was hard. Yeah. That's right. That's the whole deal. No, that's hard, and that's the and that's the reason. See, this is what it's saying. In spite of a pair of eyes, you don't look. And it's because it's not that great to see. But you think, the mind fools you into thinking that, that it's better to drop all the way back, no matter what it looks like, and get to the floor, rather than be up there on this much height and humbled, you know, and it doesn't seem as much of an achievement. But it's more of an achievement because of the steps, because of, energetically and mechanically, anatomically, what kind of intelligence is happening? What is awakening within you? And it's not only that, it's just plain smarter. There is more intelligence involved.